This is crazy. Oh, oh, oh my gosh. Hey, check out our Patreon in the link below. You'll have access to uncut and upcoming reactions, skits, behind the scenes footage, and so much more. Your support goes a long way to helping us with more reactions and original content. Also, thanks for subbing. Set, Set the, the bell, bell for notifications. notifications. Your boy Rock Lee. All right, man, we've been on an absolute roller coaster ride of emotions. There's no other way to explain what we've been seeing so far. So, uh, <laughs> I was wrong, guys. I was wrong. Because I, the reason why, all right, so in the last episode, uh, Gan actually pulled a bad shouty and went on a nice date. Killua, Killua was like, yo, there's something wrong with that chick. I want nothing to do with her. And uh, Gan did give her the chance. And I was like, see, see, that's why you give those kinds of girls a chance, right? Yeah, you know, she didn't look the best, right? But she had uh, that dark swagger about her and her voice. I was like, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, but no, she's crazy. She's trying to kill people. Stay away from the crazy types. Don't listen to my advice on the last reaction. Um, speeding up forward, it appears, uh, well, not appears. Well, I was gonna speak about Ghana Killua, but now I'm gonna speak directly about Killua. Killua this whole entire time, right? Ha hasn't been able to use his, I shouldn't say be able to use his power to his full extent, but he was always at a disadvantage when, he be when he's faced with a much stronger foe. Uh, because I believe it's Knuckles trainer who told him when you go against a stronger foe You have to have absolute 100% resolve that you can beat this foe and I believe that we all agree that that doesn't mean just because you have absolute resolve that you are going to win But if you're going against a stronger foe and you already are having doubts about yourself You are certainly certainly going to be at a disadvantage over if you just had that absolute assurance so uh Killua, this whole entire time his brother not only was he in his mind he was literally in his mind he planted a bug into Killua so that whenever Killua uh, experienced a situation that was basically an extra ex oh, i try to use a big word i can't do it basically anytime Killua would experience a threat that was greater than him that Killua would leave he was basically trying to preserve Killua. That's what I got. I don't know if his brother had some twisted uh, uh, objective beyond preserving Killua's life. We will soon find out, or maybe it's already been revealed and I have missed it. So, yeah, let's jump right into it. Hunter, Hunter. Oh, by the way, if you guys like these hats, they're on my, my, my store, yourboyrockley.com. Check it out. Oh, this is anime in Japanese. <laughs> Dang, she, he is really stunned on him. And <laughs> Knuckles gonna talk that smack. <laughs> they did get lit up in the last one. Whew! 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 Oh! Dear. <laughs> Dang. Come on, Knuckles. Oh, yeah. Knuckles is adapting. Knuckles is adapting as the fight continues. Interesting. He, he likes it. Yeah. Yeah. But the longer this fight goes on, the more... We'll see. Oh. This one is going to be interesting. Guns. With an experience, what I said. Oh, from the moment this battle began. Dulling the sight. No, I'm not scared at all. What? What? I didn't see this coming. I thought we saw everything. Cause he already activated his ability with the punch. That's why you only needed it once. There you go. Gee, I want knuckles be talking that smack. Adding interest. Yo, they're really playing cheap tricks. Don't educate this chimera. Just handle the business. Oh, they want it to get angry. Never mind. Wit and experience. We may know what pitch we'll use. Oh, I love that analogy. 
They are using strategy. I love this. This battle did not go how I expected it to, but I'm 100% satisfied with the outcome. But this Chimera is going to adapt. I know it. Just seeing how they're moving around. They're doing a good job with not letting this show be predictable. Even when it's about to be predictable, you're like, I, th I got it. Still. Oh, I thought that was in his head at that moment. What is this show gonna do? Oh my god. His eyes. Gone wood. Oh! Dang! Oh! But this hurts more. Gone to something else. He's just gonna take it. I think I miss it. He is dodging. He knows exactly. Oh. Gone is actually being deep. Touch him, Gone. What is Gone gonna do? He's gonna be rational about this. He stands like a puppet. Ironic with the name like Kite. The strings was in his name to begin with. Wow. I knew something was different when I saw you. It's like they're both better. Man, they really let 30 days go by. Sounds like a technicality. I think the old man is going to be okay with it. They're playing cards in the back. At the very end, I was impressed by the way he moved. Nah, I got faith in Gone in this moment. This guy's always deep. I love how prophetic this guy is. And if you notice, he didn't have much faith in Gone and Killua even showing up. So now that he's like, trust me, this kid's okay, I fully believe it. Oh man. You can't have better script writing than this. This is bad. This is bad. Does no one else see what he's up to? Nan users can see it. Ten days. Colt. Alright. My gosh. Ten days. Of course not. Of course not. How the heck did Gone Oh! <laughs> there she is in the background. Oh my gosh. He's gonna fight the king. Oh my goodness. I wonder how God will feel with his Nen. This is interesting. No. He's not gonna do it. Oh my gosh. This is gonna be too much. After everything that's happened, I'm, oh, I'm trying to not be too hype. And this guy is freaking ripped. But God is not impressed. Something has changed. He can just activate his drive. It's stronger than before. Woo! He's not gonna hit him with it. Yeah. He, he lost it. <laughs> this is too good. This is too good. He like my bad I think that's why he's this is so crazy. What they've done with this episode, man. What about that cheetah that's just running around? Oh. I gotta give a re I gotta give a mid cap. What they're doing with gun and is absolutely incredible because what it is is he has the ability to turn it off so he's not just walking around like a madman and I think that is pretty much a genius uh, writing ploy 
uh, because he's at, oh, I'm happy he's playing cards, he's chilling. And they added some doubt, like, did he change? Is he ready? And I'm, I keep forgetting his name. I'm sorry, I'm paying attention though. Uh, Knuckles, the master is like, no, nah, he's saving that energy. And I think it does more than saving the energy. He's actually staying like, uh, I mean, yeah, he is saving the energy, but he's, he's leaving room. He's not gonna show up yet. Yeah, I'm just repeating what the master said. He's not gonna show up fatigue from all his pent up stress. Only one, only Putu deserves, I butchered the name, but only she deserves the level of intensity that's about to happen. And he's like wasting it throughout training. I could actually say, I could actually make the argument, the way Gon recovers from a moment that, let's just face it, irritates him, he might train with irritation and like lose it. So he's like, I'm not even gonna spend the irritation, I'm just gonna save it. It's really nice to see him go from happy, go lucky, and then he just reflects back on his master, Kite, um, or his former trainer, Kite, and he's like, okay, I'm ready to go. And for all intents and purposes, was about to kill this man. I think that is absolutely fantastic uh, writing. It's well you. It's it's a well use of, or it's good use of God's character because they're using no happy go lucky character, but they're like, hey, don't get this twisted. God can still snap and throw down, and he probably will snap. But y'all ain't gonna see that yet. I'm also glad that they didn't actually allow him to use the move. Only showing that the very act of charging this move is devastating. Before he even started charging it, that's what they mentioned, like, uh, you could feel like someone's intent. His intent to kill! Oh my gosh, I'm mind blown. Because they've uh, indicated that before. Actually, that's one of the reasons why Kropika couldn't follow uh, Krolo and the Phantom Troop members. Because his, his intent to kill would have been picked up. So, they believe that Gon meant to kill this guy. I don't think that Gon would, would have actually been able to do it. But, he was he was going to, and everyone else believed to. And Kilo was like, don't even use this move. And I don't think that was according to the plan. I think Kilo the street smarts watch everyone stressed out like yo <laughs> don't even use this move enough has happened and then like like what that does is it's kind of like how i was explaining in the very beginning we already seen knuckles trick we don't want to see uh gun special move used yet it's like a waste like, again it's a, it would have been a waste of gun being frustrated this whole time we want to see this on putu and it's gonna be glorious or actually not because hunter hunter is famous for curveballs so again, we still don't know how this is gonna go down. Um, so we're gonna go right into the next episode. Uh, you know, I kind of, I, I tend to just kind of let you know my format, especially if you're new. I tend to want to save it towards the end, but especially if they hit me with some content, and I don't think I'll remember. I'll hit it right in the middle and then jump onto the next phase. So let's jump onto the next phase of our reaction. Was it toxic? What? It changed, you don't see that? What? This took an unexpected turn. Dead or mutated. So the Phantom Trope is gonna be after them. Oh, this is also showing how the world will respond to this takeover. So this is actually an important pivot. Ooh. Uh, so it is the dangerous ones. So she should have turned humans into ants. Ugh. Sexy stinger of rebirth. Okay, so she's and she's thick. <laughs> Golly! Oh my gosh! <laughs> Can I just be honest with you guys? Oh, they're being observed. Oh, they zoomed on our hands though, so I don't know about this one. Oh, and it's an exoskeleton. Ah. Look at this simp. Ugh. My mother's greatest misfortune that she never experienced. Oh. Oh, she's about that life. Underestimated them. Look at you. What the heck? A hole in his stomach though? Oh, but it would be, it would, I see. 
Oh, they're creative. They're creative. They are creative. <laughs> they have upgraded. Wow, the mighty phantom trope. Jeez. And I'm rooting for the phantom trope, man. Because they humanized them. Did you get it? No. Wow. Oh my gosh. 15 should do it? It's like gone. <laughs> He's gonna survive it too. That's the condition. Oh, so he's gonna fully crush his opponent. Wow. Wow. What is happening? Nice. Nice. He obliterated him. This is crazy. Oh, oh my gosh. Because whatever he controls, he makes stronger. It was quick. He turns into a gosh darn Super Saiyan! Uh, it's too much for his body to handle. Uh oh. There's something on his back. Wow. It's her ability. Oh my gosh. These Phantom Choke people are stunning on people today. What does it do? <laughs> He has no idea. She's cool. Ooh, it's probably gonna go right into the hole. What we're getting a display is how the unique, the, the Chimera ants don't, f they don't specialize in men battles. They just use their brute strength. What the heck is happening? He's just getting stunned on. It's disorienting him. Oh, these members are cool. Fucking <laughs> guy. What an interesting character. <laughs> this guy's getting wrecked with sound. What? <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh my gosh! The, this is a full display of the Phantom Show, man, and... And he's talking smack. Oh, let's see what she does. They're fighting to save their home. Meteor City. Wow! Man! So, this episode did, in my opinion, it took home what... So this is 90, what, what episode, what number is this? And so this is episode 96. 96 did what the beginning of 95 I was speaking about. See, in 95, Knuckles and his master were going, were, were basically, it was a Nen battle. The Chimera Ants aren't good at using the full power of Nen. Right now it's just brute strength and they're reinforced by their ability to use Nen. Because they're going against wit and they're going against experience, okay? When they tried Knuckles in the first half of our reaction, Knuckles and his master, yeah, they, they were like, look, we got you. Smoke screens, basically some type of shadow clones. Uh, he only needed to use it once, which I love that. He's, Knuckles said, this technique you can't use a lot of times in battle, but I only need it once because all you need is the one hit to activate his uh, net. Now here's my prediction. That Cheetah is going to be the first one among them to really upgrade and make a powerful Nen-like ability, right? These Chimeric Ants in uh, Meteor City, uh, what they did in this particular uh, portion of the episode, let me pause it so I don't get a, a recap, that really messes me up. Um, yeah. what, they did is, what they did in the in Meteor City is, it was a full opportunity to display that these Chimeric Ants are just strong and they got hit with a broad or wide variety of different Nen techniques. So, in order to make this much more interesting and with these Chimera Ants, 
and it really added the hopelessness the chimera ants are going to be developing really strong nan techniques we've only seen two so far the two techniques that we saw is there's some type of manipulator he manipulated apparently one of the other chimera ants uh, we also learned that you know whoever manipulates first uh again this was a nice important uh a moment to reinforce conditions how important it was because uh this particular fire trip member he the condition is he needs to poke you in order to manipulate you and then we have putu i'm sorry if i butcher her name but she is uh using some type of controller like uh nen but i don't know if she can use it in combat yet so again they don't use Nen for combat purposes. Even the king isn't using it for combat purposes yet. He's just brute strength and speed. And that tail is super efficient. So this is gonna be the turning point because now I'm no longer getting that hopelessness that I felt maybe about two, two reactions ago. And I know it's gonna come back. I know it's gonna come back. All it takes is basically one surviving chimera ant who has been exposed and realizes that, yeah, I gotta learn how to maximize uh, the usage of my Nen. And I'm guessing it's gonna be the Cheetah first. Just because, if you look at the way um, Misdirect happens, I thought the Chimera Ant was, I, I, well, I, I shouldn't say I thought, I didn't know who was going to win, but the fact that that Chimera Ant got away, I'm suspecting that Knuckles, cause he thinks he can track her, him, when Knuckles and his master encounter it, one of them is not going to survive. I would say it's his master. Um, I'm just trying to figure out the way the pendulum kind of moves around. If this Chimera Ant comes back learning Nen, there has to be a major consequence to the protagonist of this series. And that's one thing that Hunter x Hunter also does. People feel consequences. People die, uh, it's dark. So anything is on the table when it comes to how we're gonna move forward with this. But I kind of rambled a lot just taking in everything that I saw. But the point is, we're going to be seeing Chimera Ants use advanced Nen uh, in the next couple of episodes. Also, before we end, how interesting, or did we all feel the same way watching the Phantom Show defend their home? We feel for them? I want them to prevail against these Chimera Ants. So it's kind of also interesting how people who were once your foes uh, they were very, very humanized, especially Crollo. They, they humanized, they got a connection, they'll die for the, to protect the head of the spider is their thought process. The head of the spider isn't necessarily a Crollo. It's just the spider of itself. So when we, when we first, when they really broke down and, you know, showed their, their humanity, uh, fighting with each other, wanting to save Krolo, bonding with uh, Gon and Killua. Um, I forgot the samurai's name, but he was sympathizing with Uvo and he was really hurt. Now the Phantom Trope, they're not just mindless monsters to me. They are monsters, but they're not mindless. So I'm actually rooting for them for this particular battle. Uh, long live Meteor City. So we're gonna find out. Another exciting reaction with you guys. Um, I'm thankful that you guys support me so far. So if you're not subscribed already, please go ahead and do so. It's your boy Rock Lee, and I'm out.